Hi, it's Carrie. Today I'm looking at my favourite sharks, whales and fish. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you love sharks and whales. Can you tell me, is the beluga whale the smallest whale or the largest whale? There's another fun ending today. The flying fish. Flying fish can be seen jumping out of warm ocean waters worldwide. This streamlined torpedo shape helps them gather enough underwater speed to break the surface and their large wing-like pectoral fins get them airborne. Puffer fish are also known as blowfish. When a predator is after them, they suck in a lot of water and air into their elastic stomachs and become several times their normal size so they won't fit in the predator's mouth. Some species like this one have protective spines on their skin. The orca or killer whale is one of the world's most powerful predators. Their teeth grow to 4 inches or 10 centimeters. They hunt in groups called pods. They work together to target prey and are able to communicate using various sounds. Triggerfish has very strong jaws and large strong teeth. It makes it easy to bite through the hard body parts of marine creatures. The queen triggerfish is an amazing looking fish with its beautiful colouring and blue highlights on the face and fins. The largemouth bass lives in freshwater lakes and rivers and has a very large mouth. It likes quiet and clear water but can survive in other habitats. It likes to take cover under logs and bridges or rock ledges, just anything to help protect it and conceal it. The clownfish is also known as the anemone fish and have been made popular by the movie Finding Nemo. They're found in warm waters in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Orcas are the largest of the dolphins and are easy to recognise by their distinctive black and white colouring. Orcas have long rounded bodies with large dorsal fins at the middle of their backs. Their black bodies are marked with white patches on the underside and near the eyes. They will hunt for other marine mammals such as dolphins and take turns chasing them. The humpback whale is not predatory as they feel to feed for tiny krill or small surface fish. They are totally harmless to people. Like all whales, humpback whales are mammals and give life birth to very large calves. The killer whale is the only species known to attack and eat the juvenile humpback whale. The clown trigger fish is named after the spines situated on their backs. Few species are known to eat the clown trigger fish. The clown trigger fish are territorial and males defend their territory. Once a female arrives, the males actively court them and the females get to choose the male they want. The blue whale. Blue whales are the largest animals to have lived on earth. These magnificent marine mammals grow up to 100 feet or 30 meters long and upwards of 200 tons. They feed on tiny shrimp-like animals called krill. During certain times of the year, a single adult blue whale consumes about four tons of krill. The Moorish Idol. This is one of my 3D puzzles I've made up earlier. They live in the subtropical and tropical regions, in reefs and lagoons. Their body is patterned with alternate bands of white, yellow and black. The lemon shark lives in warm and shallow waters 
usually near the coral reefs, mangrove space and river mouths. It has a flattened head and a broad snout with curved teeth. These teeth can grip slippery prey well. The tiger shark. These large blunt nosed sharks have excellent eyesight and smell. Their powerful jaws have sharp, highly serrated teeth that can even correct the shells of sea turtles and clams. Their diet includes stingrays, sea snakes, seals, birds and other sea animals. The leopard shark is small and harmless to humans. They mainly eat invertebrates found on the bottom of the ocean floor. They are easily identified by the distinctive dark spots and saddle type markings. The sperm whale is the world's largest toothed whale and unlike the baleen whales, sperm whales are active predators eating large squid, large bony fish and sharks. Their teeth are conical shaped for catching prey. The zebra shark is a younger version of the leopard shark. They live on the ocean floor and are referred to as carpet fish. They like to rest on the ocean floor and that's where they find most of their food. The dugong. They are related to manatees and are similar in appearance and behaviour. They like to graze on underwater grasses day and night, reaching for them with their bristled sensitive snouts and chomping them with their rough lips. These mammals can stay underwater for six minutes before surfacing. The tiger shark are common in tropical and subtropical waters throughout the world. They get their name from the dark vertical stripes found mainly on the younger sharks which fade as they mature. The Blainville's beet whale is a species of whale that can be found in deep warm water all over the world. It has two distinctive horn-like teeth that grow from bulges in the lower jaw. Both males and females have large white spots covering their entire body. The beluga whales are the smallest whale. They live in coastal waters of the Arctic Ocean and in the subarctic regions. When ice starts to form, the belugas migrate south towards warmer water. The blue tang, made famous by Finding Dory movie. The fins are relatively small and it has venomous spines covering the back and the tail. When caught by a predator, the fish releases these spines in defence. The hammerhead shark is a very unusual looking shark. They use their wide set eyes to give them a better field of vision. The hammer shaped head has sensory organs that help them detect prey. The blue shark is one of the fastest fish in the sea with a sleek tapered body that is made for fast swimming and quick turns. The tail fin moves from side to side propelling the shark along. The piranha lives in the rivers of the South American jungles. It has a single row of razor sharp teeth that are triangular in shape and they're used to puncture and rip into prey. Megalodon is a prehistoric monster shark that first appeared about 20 million years ago. It is the largest prehistoric shark to have ever existed and one of the most powerful predators on earth. They didn't chew their food like we do but swallowed it down whole in very large chunks. The great white shark has pale grey skin with a white belly and bullet shaped bodies, a crescent shaped tail and 
a pointed snout. Inside the jaws are up to 300 serrated triangular teeth. The bowhead whale belongs to the group of baleen whales. It is also known as Greenland's right whale. They are found in the cold waters of the Arctic Sea. The jaw is arched and it looks like a bow. The great white shark doesn't have eyelids, but they can roll their eyeballs during attack to prevent eye injury. This is especially important when they hunt sea lions, which have very sharp claws. In the last moment of the attack, sharks are practically blind. Other than that, they have excellent eyesight. The great white shark is at the top of the food chain and has few threats in the ocean. Only orcas and larger great white sharks can pose a risk. Their diet consists of small tooth whales, sea lions, seals, sea turtles and carrion. Sharks will tear off big chunks of meat and can swallow them whole. Look at those teeth! The whale shark is the largest fish in the sea, about 40 feet or 12 meters in length. It's a filter feeder. It feeds near the surface by filtering water through its massive jaws. Its favorite food is plankton. This is my great white shark or jaws made by Funko. I really like this one because I can feed it fish like this and it swallows it. Of course it will come out again. White sharks are ambush predators. They prowl below the surface of the ocean looking for prey above. Thank you for watching my video. It really helps if you can share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. See you again soon.